Hello everyone, welcome to Salesforce Atlas. My name is Dorissa, if you're new to the channel. I hope that you're doing great. In today's episode, I would like to share with you how to use dynamic actions. And more specifically, I'll be showing you how to hide and show a button with the specific filters. It's a new thing. Now you can also filter buttons in the nav, nav bar based on any criteria. It can be field criteria or a record or profile criteria. And I will share this with you in today's episode. As always, I'll be sharing with my Salesforce playgrounds and I have opened here an opportunity. And uh, what I want to do is to hide this change owner field. I want to hide it because this opportunity is closed one. Even if it was closed last, I don't want anyone to change the owner after this opportunity has been closed. And to do this, all I need to do is go into, into this gear button select edit page then it will redirect you to the lightning app builder and in the lightning app builder i want to find the buttons so right here at the very top we have highlights panel and i can see that in this environment i haven't upgraded my view to dynamic actions dynamic actions is a great feature that allows you to make more configurations within the lightning app builder um, you don't have to go to the object manager, you don't have to look for a specific object anymore and then go through the page layouts or buttons and compact layouts. So all that you can do within the same view. I will just go with this delete button right here and uh, let's say I want this delete button to disappear from the highlights panel if the opportunity record is in the stage closed one so if it's closed one i don't want anyone to accidentally delete the opportunity so i have set the filter criteria i will click done and um, i will click done again and i will just save the, these changes and then once it's once it's blue now i will go back to the record and check if the delete button has disappeared. Now we are back in the opportunity. The stage is closed one. And now let's check in the drop down if the delete button has disappeared. Yes, it has disappeared from the options. So this is perfect. It works exactly as I wanted it to work. And you can app, apply any other filters and think about the advanced options as well. So if you want to pull something from the user profile level, then you can use the advanced feature in the filter. And Thanks a lot for getting this far in the video. I hope that you found this episode useful. Now you know how to apply filters at the button level. But first, remember to, to enable your dynamic actions and um, then you will have a lot of other features that you can use and apply in your environment. Thanks a lot for getting this far in the video and I will see you next time. Take care.